Hi, I'm Matt Chenard with Delta Waterfowl here with the Habitat Conditions Update. Typically at this time of year we have some really good information about habitat conditions across the prairie pothole region. As most of you know, of course, the waterfowl habitat and breeding population survey that's usually conducted this time of year was, was not able to happen. And, uh, but the good news is, is the North Dakota Game and Fish did do a survey here in North Dakota, so we have some really good information in North Dakota. And Frank Rowe, our president and chief scientist, was recently up in the prairies of Canada, so he has some really good updates from up there. We'll start with some updates from Frank in Prairie Canada. I'm very near the town of Menadosa on the eastern edge of the Prairie Pothole region. This is typical parkland habitat. You can see the trees and the wetlands. Right behind me is a seasonal wetland, and so you can see it has water in it. That's great because we're midway through the nesting season, and for seasonals to have water, that's a good sign. We started out quite wet, much better than last year. In the background, you can see semi-permanent ponds, and they are flooded up into the cattail. So it's very good here in, in Manitoba. We moved over to central Saskatchewan. I'm just a bit south of Saskatoon. I'm in what are called the Allen Hills. The Allen Hills and the Dana Hills are the best of the best in Saskatchewan, where wetland density is very high. Unfortunately, you can see it's dry here. It's been dry for a couple of years. There's a, a you know, a mud border here. The semi-permanent ponds mostly have water, but it's not flooded up into the cattails here. And so not the best of condition for diving ducks for sure and, and fair for dabbling ducks. So conditions here in central Saskatchewan, fair at best. We're in the grasslands of southern Saskatchewan and you can barely tell it, but that's a seasonal wetland behind us. For three years, it's been dry as a bone here, and so the farmer's been able to actually cultivate right through the pond. Pond will be fine, and if it gets wet here next year, there'll be ducks back in this pond. But right now, you can see it's dry in southern Saskatchewan. Here in the grasslands of south-central Saskatchewan, it is really dry. You can see large wetlands have been bone dry for some time. Thanks, Frank. Well, as you heard, Conditions in Prairie Canada are kind of a mixed bag, but generally fairly dry, especially Saskatchewan. And that's very similar to last year, uh, where conditions were really dry in Saskatchewan. But the good news here in North Dakota, the, the Game and Fish Survey actually showed really good habitat conditions in North Dakota, basically all the way from the west to the east. In the western North Dakota, it's a little bit drier, but still fair to good conditions. In eastern North Dakota, it's very wet, excellent conditions there. Our duck populations here, are you know of, of the main species that we hunt they generally stable to increasing the only species that was down a little bit were redheads mallards were similar to last year but 84 percent above their long-term average uh, blue wing teal were 60 percent above last year's numbers green wing teal were almost 70 percent above last year's numbers and at their all-time high in north dakota as far as a breeding population so actually great news here in north dakota for for breeding ducks and, and from what we've seen so far, lots of broods hatching already and uh, lots of duck nesting activity. Um, rain, we've had pretty good rain in the eastern part of the Dakotas here and so that's kept those habitat conditions in really good shape. South of the border in South Dakota, um, also great habitat conditions all the way from the west to the east, especially in the east or you know flooding there. Great, great wetland conditions for, for ducks and, and, and breeding duck. We're optimistic about the production potential from North Dakota and South Dakota. Of course, also of interest to waterfowl hunters are Canada geese. In North Dakota, the Canada goose numbers were up 6% from last year. You know, their numbers continue to increase in the state. And we've already seen lots of Canada goose broods. So that's setting up nicely for the early goose seasons here in, that are coming up in August. So overall, the habitat conditions are kind of a mixed bag, but the, on the U.S. side, they're very good, and we're optimistic that, that the production here from North Dakota and South Dakota will help offset some of that lost production in Prairie Canada. That's it for our habitat conditions update. We'll have a later report in, uh, later in the summer prior to the hunting season to give you an idea of our expectations for the fall flight.